What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin. I'm going to show you in this video how to download older versions of apps. So the latest version of Spotify is 4.6.0, but we're going to download a much older version than that. And we're going to use Charles Proxy to do just that. And you can find this over at charlesproxy.com. Just download the app. Once you download it, save it to your desktop and we'll go from there. So I want to quit out of uh, Google Chrome there, just going to double click on the Charles Proxy DMG file, just drag it over to Applications, and it will go ahead and copy that over to the Applications folder. Now once that's copied over, you can just open up Launchpad and then launch Charles Proxy once it appears there. So there we go. So you want to get this message, just click Open, and you're going to also see this. It's going to delay for a few seconds because this is a 30-day free trial, so just to let you know. Gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> All right, and then you wanna click where it says grant privileges. All right, and then put in your administrator password. And just FYI, all this, you're doing it at your own risk, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> just wanna put that in there. So only do this if you feel comfortable doing so. All right, so here's Charles Proxy. What we're gonna do first of all is we are going to download Spotify or any app that you wanna downgrade. I'm just using Spotify as an example. And once you click the download button, you're gonna see a lot of activity here. Uh, you're gonna see the server for the buy.itunes.apple.com. So you wanna select that, right click on it and select enable SSL proxying. And once you do that, I wanna go back to iTunes and we wanna just stop this download from happening because we don't need to download the full thing. So just click on a little download button, highlight the download, tap your delete key on your keyboard few times to get rid of that all right so that download has stopped and then you can just refresh the um, iTunes page by searching for your app again I'm in this case sp searching for Spotify then click on the detail page there and you can see where it has download meaning that we deleted the in-progress download so that's a good thing now you want to click download again because we, after we enable the SSL proxying now you're gonna see this on the next time the server appears in this list so that's a good thing. We can again, cancel out the download. So just delete it. Now you can click the disclosure triangle by web objects. You're gonna see a folder or two there. And then you wanna highlight the buy product. And then once you do that, you wanna click response. So this is basically just an XML file. You wanna right click on buy product and you wanna select export. And then you want to point to your desktop and then export it as an XML file, all right? And once you do that, you wanna just right click and open with and then use a text editor. I'm using brackets, but you can use any text editor you, editor you like. And then you just wanna scroll down in this list here. This is basically details about Spotify. And this right here shows all the different versions of Spotify from the oldest to the latest version. So this is the latest version in this right here is the oldest version. So that's actually what I'm gonna downgrade to. So I'm just gonna select that text here and then I'm gonna copy it using Command-C and then close out of the text editor. So now it's actually time to edit some values. So I'm gonna right click where it says buy product here and select edit. All right, so now we're going to click where it says text and then you should see the app ext version ID. So you just wanna highlight what's in there and then paste in the value we copied from the XML file and that's pretty much it. So now what we wanna do is click where it says execute. And once you click execute, you wanna scroll down under the response tab and you should see the version, the bundle short version string. And you can see it's an old version, 0.3.19. That goes way back. And if you look on iTunes, you're gonna see that version is actually 4.6.0. So this goes way back. Of course, you can do this over and over until you find the exact version you want. So just keep that in mind. Now you wanna right click on the buy product again, the last one in the list, and then click where it says breakpoints. And I'm just gonna right click and make sure breakpoints is indeed checked, it is. So now what we wanna do is go back and we're gonna refresh the iTunes page. Just search for Spotify again and then click the details page. And then we're just gonna initiate the download again. So click download. And since we put those breakpoints in, it's actually gonna stop and it's gonna allow us to edit the request. Uh, so you're gonna see this pop up here. You can just wait until that disappears. Now click edit requests and then click where it says XML text. And then at the top, 
you're going to see the version ID again. You just want to paste that version ID that we copied earlier and then click execute. And then you're going to see another breakpoint and then just click execute again. All right. So you're going to see the download commencing here. And it again is downloading that old version. So you can go in and find a specific version. If there's one version in particular of an app that you're looking for, you can kind of guess and check until you get the version you want. Um, but for this particular example, I just wanted to download the Otis one I could, and I'm going to show you how that looks. It actually looks really terrible because it's super outdated and wasn't even designed with the um, larger iPhone screen in mind. So you can see the download is still going. It's a very small file, as you can see there, only 1.8 megabytes. So this was a two megabyte. Spotify at one time was less than two megabytes. It's crazy. All right. So click my apps, right click, select get info. All right, and there is that older version, 0.3.19. So now all we need to do is connect our iPhone and then we'll be able to just drag this downloaded app onto our iPhone and install it. All right, so just grab and drag and release on your iPhone. And now you can see it's syncing. And there you go. So there is the older version of Spotify, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.